Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to my predictive reading. This is a what you need to know reading. It's timeless. It affects you when you're drawn to watch it. And cross-watcher energies, they're interchangeable. This is a general reading. It's not a personal reading. You can find information down below. There's also a free birth chart calculator at the very bottom of the description box. And I'd really like to thank you for supporting my channel and the donations. Thank you very much. It keeps me able to provide you with these free readings. And now your first card, it's the general atmosphere. Oh, uh, by the way, you did get two cards that popped out for the end of the reading. It's vice versa tarot cards. You have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. That's exciting. And now for your first card, the general atmosphere, the Wheel of Fortune. This is about fate, Cancer. Fate and Destiny, number 10 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This card is ruled by the four elements, the fixed signs, the guides that lead us on to the next phase in life, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. This is also a card of divine influence as represented by the Yod, right there. This is fate, destiny, Jupiter, rules the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this can have to do with an opportunity and chance. Could be an unexpected turn of luck, a change of fortune for the better. It is new conditions. It's creative evolutions within the laws of chance. And now there's a new chapter starting. It aligns with destiny and fortune, luck, felicity, fate and karma. As the wheel turns, life changes, and the wheel turns forward or backwards, things never stay the same, and events are going to turn around in some fashion, and now this situation is going to change on its own accord. It is now beyond your control. This can be a surprise. It can be a gift that goes beyond reason or logic, or recognizing what you're doing, what you're born to do. This is a usually positive change in circumstances. It's something that's been put into motion over which you now have little or no control. It will promote your growth and advancement. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The King of Swords, Cancer. Air energy person. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, could be their sun, moon, rising, Venus. It could be in your chart. This is someone that's the real overthinker. They're blunt and abrupt. They're a good judge. They give sound advice. They're always fair, and they always speak the truth. So listen for the correct approach. This is someone that's objective and logical and intelligent, they're fair and authoritative and assertive, and they're upfront with the truth. Yet they can seem emotionally distant. They're a direct communicator, a clear thinker, and they remain impartial. They're an absolute professional, and their decisions are based on careful thought. They value fairness. Success comes first, and they hold back their heart. They have very high ethical standards. They're confident and they're self assured. They seem aloof and detached. They're good at thinking on their feet, and they have a backbone. Maybe it's time to take some time to reason with others and be candid with those observations. This is someone that knows something. He has a connection. The Wheel of Fortune with the King of Swords is deciding to move forward, and it pays off to be assertive. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number 17 of the Major Arcana, the star. This can represent Aquarius. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is great love and great hope. It's renewal and revelation. Wishes coming true. It's peace. Insight, inspiration, it's great hope. It's unselfish aid and good health. It's the gifts of the Spirit. It's, it's great love that will be given and received. It's renewal and faith renewed. 
can be nurtured in a dream, and the realization of dreams and goals are now possible. This is mental stability with major growth and development, and now anything is possible because destiny is working for you. It's positive energy is flowing freely into your life. Your lucky stars. These are blessings that are flowing freely like water, and it carries bright promises. The Wheel of Fortune with the Star card can represent a talent. It's fate and recognition. It's everything you hope for is becoming a reality. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 13 of the Major Arcana, Death. This can represent a Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This has to do with transformation. It's change and renewal. It has to do with an ending and a closure and then regeneration. It's destruction followed by renewal, and this change may be in the consciousness. This can be the birth of new ideas, new opportunities, after a time of pause and reflection and discovering what no longer fits in your life. It's a dying away of old habits and old fears or old hopes or old ways of dealing with the world or old relationships. And this experience can seem shattering, but if we welcome change, we find that death leads to new life and new possibilities. This is an opening to something more important. There may be something you need to give up. This release may be difficult or painful, but the time has come for the new. It's creating closure, and then new life to follow. This new ending must be faced because you're about to enter a new dimension in your life. It's letting go and letting the universe, because resisting can cause pain. It's dealing with what scares you. It's being outgrown, a part of your yourself, and now there's new belief systems. It's old habit patterns shaken off. It's making the way for new energy. It's time to look for a new path. The Wheel of Fortune with the Death card can represent a, a lucky new beginning. It can be an inheritance. It can also be a loss at games of chance. This is the point where the crisis passed which life will now change for the better or worse. It's change from taking risk. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 14 of the Major Arcana, Temperance. This can represent a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This is a need to have patience and be moderate and compromise and take the middle way. It's having to make adjustments, blending, adapting, tempering, self-control. It's working in harmony with others. It's compromise instead of battle and never going to one extreme or the other. It's having control over your own life and what you have imagined will come to pass. This is successful combinations being achieved. Alchemy, seeing both sides, sharing control. It's a vision of the new life that comes after death. It's the ability to combine different elements in life, such as work and pleasure, love and sex, feelings and action, openness and confidence. It indicates victory over doubts and rigidities and advises a cautious attitude and be moderate and take the middle way. You're adapting to situations with a clear mind and a calm heart. Again, this is another card that reminds us there's a need to have patience for events surrounding us as they play out. There's nothing else you can do. Whatever has been done to set things in motion has already been done. Now you have to sit back, just watch it all happen. It's reflecting on your life. It's drawing in emotions and stop overreacting to outside forces. And it is now possible to overcome addiction to substance, people, or relationships. This is an obsession passing, an order being restored. The Wheel of Fortune with the Temperance card is a good implementation of plans. 
It can represent higher education, skill in the fine arts, and it represents a peaceful outcome. The King of Swords with the Star card can represent an Aquarius, a public servant. These are positive intentions while keeping a distance. The King of Swords with the Death card is deciding to make major changes right away. The King of Swords with a Temperance card is broadcasting, maybe like a news reporter or someone on YouTube. It represents mediation and patience. The Star card with the Death card is solitude. It's recovery from depression or illness. And after the change, things get better. Star card with a temperance card is a feeling of detachment as life goes on. The death card with a temperance card is one who guides others' attention. And someone needs to pay attention to their health. The, their body could give you indications of what to pay attention to, health-wise. And now your vice versa tarot card. The Ace of Swords, Air Energy. The Ace of Swords is always the root of Air Energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This side is a gleaming sword. It's held aloft in the sunshine. The elemental symbol for air is emblazoned on the cross guard. The person raising the sword is looking out over a lush and verdant valley with gently rolling hills extending as far as the eye can see. There is a sense that the person has found the promised land. The crown that appears in the blue sky proclaims domination over the land and bestows the divine right to claim it. When you get this sign in a reading, the Ace of Swords represents the gift of clarity. A new idea is divinely inspired and will lead to success. Grasp the sword of truth and vision. And now for your second card that came out. The Eight of Wands. Cancer, this is fire energy. It's always busy and exciting energy when you get the Eight of Wands. This side is, unlike most of the minor arcana cards, this one does not tell a story as such. The wands simply appear as a potent a portent on their own. Eight wands fly across a fair sky above a wooded landscape. Because the top of the wands is part of that is leafy, we know that these wands are coming down to earth, not flying upward, like thrown spears or arrows in formation. The wands are heading towards their target. When you get this sign in a reading, this is a sign of something incoming, often a message or some information that will assist you in your endeavor. If you are waiting for news, you won't have to wait much longer. The card can also mean that things are speeding up. A blockage of some sort may have given way, so that events will unfold more quickly now. Don't be caught off guard. Thanks, you guys, Cancer. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.